Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my brand new series I'm going to try to do often is cooking. I definitely love to cook. I uh, cook very often, once in a great while, and you guys know who this is. This is Wicked Vega Kit with her channel. And we're going to just basically make pizza bites. I made pizzas themselves like this, so they're already pre-baked, they're already hot, pre-baked. They have that beautiful gold-brown uh, gold color underneath which means they're perfect. Look at that. Perfect. I have others already on the stove, ready to go. But we're going to go ahead and get these ones done. So what I use, the sauce I use, is Prego Farmer's Market. And it's the classic mar 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 marinara. The reason I use the classic is because it's a lot better. And it also tastes great. Me, it tastes great for me. But anyways, what you do is you just kind of smother it around. I know I don't put enough sauce on there. I know what people are going to say. Oh, you didn't have enough sauce. Well, you don't want to have too much sauce because sauce is really not that good for you if you eat too much of it. What you do on this one is you just kind of mix it around. Kind of give it that gold color, which makes it look really pretty. Ah, get yourself off. Sorry about that. My cat jumped up on my stove. She thought she could have pizza, and that was a big no-no. She knows better than that. Anyways, I'm going to put a little more sauce on those ones, because those need a little more sauce on it. A little more sauce. Okay, after that, I have Sargenta cheese, which is one of the ones I like. I love Sargenta. It's so much better than what you do. You take a handful of it, kind of just sprinkle it on there. Use your fingers, kind of just get it a little sprinkles. I'm kind of a genius when I do this stuff, somewhat. Quite nervous when I do this. I'm not used to making pizza under video. So don't be worried. I'm kind of shy. So this is how I am. Um, then after that, you use pepperonis which I always use homemade, her, hermar, I'm not sure how to pronounce it like that, but anyways, it's pepperonis, and it's the original, works great for pizza, or anything else. Then you just put the pizzas, put the pepperonis on there, however you like it. I'm only going to be able to put two on there, because that one's not, that one's small. After you get your pizzas done, what I use is a spatula. Kind of pick it up. Take it over here. Lay it back on your pan and here you go. Once you get them all on your pan and you're ready to go. Um, I'm sure you guys are recommending temperature you want to put these in there. After you got them all good, make sure your oven is preheated to 400. Don't worry about that time, that's a clock, and then that's a clock from when I started cooking, but make sure your temperature is at 400, because if it's not at a high number, it will not cook. So after that, you just take your oven, pop them in there, and you set your timer for Let's give them, I'm trying to think, uh, let's give them four minutes because I'm not really for sure how long pizza actually cooks, but there we go. Oven light. And there you go, guys. Pizza's cooking. And once it's done, you guys should have a nice meal and it should taste amazing. Thank you for watching.